Hello, I'm Tim Wee. Today I would like to show to you a game called Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. This is an interesting game in which one person, the so-called diffuser, has to diffuse a bomb before it explodes, and the other players, who are known as the experts, help him by looking at the manual, which contains instructions on how to solve all the different puzzles that may be on the bomb. Now, a friend of mine, whose name is Mode Wondershot, has already created an interesting series of videos here on YouTube, in which he shows the uh, diffuser part of the game, uh, and he has played the game with lots and lots of different experts, myself included, in the most recent episode. So in this video, I'm going to show to you the expert side of the game, whereas over on Mo Mode Wondershot's channel, you can see the diffuser side of the exact same session. With that in mind, gentlemen, we're going to start with 11 modules in 10 minutes. All right. So at this point, Mode Wondershot starts the bomb, and I will start writing down the information from the bomb that he will give me at the start of the game. I also appreciate the fury with which Tim Wee types, but it's going to take a lot to edit out after the fact. Let's see. Okay, you have five batteries and three holders. Lit FRQ. Unlit FRK, unlit Bob, and a parallel port. Serial number Papa Romeo 1, Sierra Mike 5. Let's see. Tim Wee, chess. Delta 5, Foxtrot 2, Bravo 2, Alpha 6, Bravo 3, Foxtrot 6. As you can see, the chess module requires the diffuser to read out six coordinates which relate to the positions of chess pieces on a virtual 6x6 board. As you can also see, I'm using a cheat sheet which allows me to deduce quickly which pieces need to be placed in the coordinates that I've been given. Three kilopascals. Items are Grimmer, Magic Orb, the goal is to find the square on the 6x6 board, which is not attacked by any piece. Step ladder. In this example, it is Echo 1. Off the top of my head, I believe Moonstone and Step Ladder are both yes. Chess. Chess. Echo 1. Echo 1. Correct. Silly slots. Okay. First is Sally. Green, red, red. Coin, coin, bomb. Once again, we have a module here where I use a cheat sheet. This is a pretty difficult to read cheat sheet. It condenses the information very tersely. Adventure game. Go ahead. All items except for cheat code. Okay. And the grimoire. Pull the slots. At this point, I've already determined the solution to the first stage. There are four stages in this module. Turned incorrect. Turn the slot. Slots are sausage, green, 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 bomb, bomb, cherries. In each stage, the diffuser reads out the colors and the symbols that they see on the module, and I translate them into letters and numbers, as you can see here. It's 333 SSF. And then I just look that up in the table. Pull the slots. Pulling the slot. In this case, I needed to determine whether any previous stage had a blue cherry, and if not, the answer is pull. Steven, blue, red, blue, bomb, coin, bomb. Sometimes the solution is pretty straightforward, as in this case, it literally says P in the table cell, so it, the solution is pull. Pulling the slots. After four stages, if all four of them are pulled, the module is solved. Simon. Blue, red, red. Cherry, bomb, coin. Gamepad. As you can see, I use the Bravo, letter H Bravo, for cherry because right, C left. is already taken for coin. Yep. Bravo, right. Down, up. Pull the Check slots. It. Incorrect. Pulling the slots. That's it for silly slots. Hexa Maze is one of the modules where most people use a cheat sheet, or as in this case, an interactive manual. Mode Wondershot reads out the positions of things that are displayed on the module, and I place okay. them into the stencil. And now I have to move the stencil to find the place where they all match, and then that is the maze that I have to steer the diffuser through. Ready on Hexa Maze. Oop, Go ahead. that was a lie. I'm not actually ready. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, this time I'm actually ready. Okay. North, southeast three times. North, southeast. I'm out of there. My light bulb is green, it is opaque, and it is off. Ready. Go ahead. Unscrew O. Yep. Screw I. Yep. And then if it's on, press O, otherwise I. Done. And letter keys is 48. 48. Alpha. Gamepad. Alpha is correct. And uh, round key. I'll just give you round keypad real quick. Here I make good use of the highlighting feature that we have on the website where all the uh, manuals are stored. As the diffuser reads out these symbols, I can just click them to highlight them. Uh, and then I down, will see down, which column has up. the most symbols. And then I will read out the ones that are not in that column. Then? Bravo, right, down. You may up. notice that I forgot to unmark the hollow star here. I actually almost read out the hollow star which would have been a wrong answer. But unfortunately, but, but fortunately, I caught myself in time. Balloon, backwards you with a dot, kitty, and omega. Good. Color math? Certainly. Goes... Uh, this is not actually a cheat sheet. This is the original manual. But I can use the highlighting feature to uh, enter the information pretty quickly and I use the find bar in Firefox to do the calculation. So here I need to find the amount of vowels, that would be zero, the amount of battery holders, that's three, the serial port count, that's zero, and the number four, and there we go, the result is one, zero, two, five. Ready. Lima, Charlie, Mike, Delta is correct. Ready on camera. And standby, color flash is for Elias. The last word is magenta in color. Color math, go ahead. Green, blue, blue, magenta. Green, blue, blue, magenta. Uh, okay, standby. I might have given you a wrong color for the first. There's magenta and then there's another color. There's so purple. Like That's right, magenta is the brighter one and purple is the sort of darker one. I see. Okay, no, I've given you a mis I've made a mistake. Okay. The, it's it goes purple, gray, purple, red. Thank you. Good catch. Uh, color flash. You want to find consecutively the same color with different words. Yes. Present. Yes, on the third entry in the sequence. Stand by. Ready. Uh, one second. Yes, on third entry. Good. Color math, go ahead. White, blue, white, magenta. White, blue, white, magenta. Checking. And we're done. 35.94 seconds Did anyone notice that the serial number spelled out the word prisms? <laughs> uh, I'd not, but I like that. Just more delightful aspects of this game. That is good. That is very good. All right. So, rousing success so far. Our challenge is now 13 and 10. A lucky number if ever I've heard one. Gladly. Indeed. We're on point and feeling good. All right. I see microcontroller, I see piano, I see Simon Screams. But meanwhile, here's Edgework 1 in 1. Unlit Bob. Unlit November Sierra Alpha. Serial port. RJ port. Two RJ ports. Uh, two serial ports. Uh, parallel port and PS2 port. Serial number is... 895 Juliet India 6. Let's see. Tim Wee, have my uh, have my only connect. Okay. Team name Networkers. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you that Lion and Horned Viper are in the correct positions. Okay. At this point it took me a while to figure out which of the letters in the word Networkers occur in the serial number and which of the ports were on the bomb. 
then Quebec or Echo and X-Ray. Uh, Twisted Flax. Twisted Flax is incorrect. You're right. It is. It should be Eye of Horrors. <laughs> Eye of Horrors is correct. Here's your symbols. Uh, what's the reverse Sedil again? Uh, Circumflex. Oh, reverse uh, Ogonek. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, Echo Ogonek. So in this module, I have to match up letters that are used by alphabets of the same language. Um, as you can see, I've used a program which, which I have running in the background to type these strange characters using shortcuts. I think that is. Comma above, yeah. Comma above, mm -hmm. yes. And kilo comma. Okay. Logic. Logic. Double false. Correct. Monsplode for me, Elias? Mm-hmm. It is uh, the throw carpet looking dude. Is it the happy one or the evil one with a kind of a. It's, it's the evil aura. one. Okay. Ready or no, Earth, What's Earthquake, one? toxic waste, a purify, stretch. Go ahead, only connect. Okay, TFO umlaut. I can give the groups in any order. O umlaut, yes. U line G, K, okay, comma. Very good. My microcontroller is 8-pin explosion. Digits are 4 and 5, and we'll do it interactive. We're starting on pin 5. 5 is yellow. Correct. 4. White. 8. Green. Monsplode is done. Monsplode? Earthquake. Correct. And... Let's see. Mystic Square. 471 space 58263. And we're on pin 2. I seem to have missed my cue here. Idle. Didn't we? Um, pin 2. Oh, uh, white. Okay. Pin 1. Red. Pin 3. Blue. And 7 is magenta. Seven is magenta. Good. Web design. Okay. Iframe dot full screen. Web design is a module that displays more information than is actually necessary for the uh, experts. So I try to write down only the information that is actually pertinent. Position relative. Font family does not include a uh, comic song. Uh, confirm the first border didn't have a color? First border, it says border radius does not have a color. Okay, thank you. So in an effort to write down only the necessary information, I wrote border instead of border Mystic. radius. And that way I ended up embarrassing myself a little. So in this module, I calculate a score by uh, adding up certain values for certain North conditions. And, and then at the end, the, uh, the answer is either three. accept, consider, or reject. So only three possibilities. Three west for south. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Meanwhile, look at my piano. Goes common time, upper mordant, turn. Are the buttons colored? Yes. Yeah. Er, no, no, they're not. No, they're, no not. they're not. Sorry. Okay. In that case, reject. One moment. Reject is correct. Here's my adventure game template. Okay. I'm looking for... I do not have a potion, so target is eagle. One strength. Eight dexterity. Eight intelligence. Three foot four. Twenty-eight degrees. Ten point eight meters per second. One hundred one kilopascals. Items are caber. Yet another module where the highlighting features are very useful. So apart from the numbers, I can just click the items that the diffuser reads out and highlight them. And yeah. then I just go through them to determine which one needs to be used. And I calculate the difference in the strength, dexterity and intelligence to determine which weapon to use. Then what's next? F-E-D. Ooh, Tetris theme. I get distracted by that. 
adventure yeah. game. Uh, word search is Lima Papa Whiskey Lima. Adventure game. Feather, nasty knife. Feather, nasty knife is correct. Now, screams goes. Oh, I think it might be the easy solution. Or no, it's not. Um, purple, green, orange, red, yellow, blue. The sequence is blue, purple, green. That's three Word. clockwise, so yeah, it is easy. Normally in this module, there is a back and forth between the, uh, the diffuser and the expert, but in this case, I was able to provide the entire solution because of a special case. If there are three adjacent colors flashing in clockwise order, then they will continue to flash in clockwise order in every subsequent stage, so I can just calculate the result for all stages in one go. One moment. Uh, Elias, my astrology is downwards facing triangle, Jupiter, then November with the small loop on the bottom right. Screams, go ahead. Red, blue, green, yellow, red, blue. Red. Blue, green, yellow, and Very nice. Let's see. Can we word flash, uh, color flash ends in magenta? Okay. Uh, color consecutively with different words. Checking. No. Number of times the word yellow appears is greater than the number of times the color is blue. Yes. Press no the last time the word yellow is in the sequence. Good. Astro. Bravo was in word search, right? Bravo was one of the words, yes. Yeah, Astro, go ahead. No omen. Okay, finally, uh, seashells. Hotel, 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 hotel on the Twitch, but we're out of time. Oh. Ah, well. Here I was racing for it, thinking that uh, we would barely be able to make it. <laughs> oh, well. I think that was a decent run, at least. It was a close one. One more try, same conditions? Sure. Works for me. Alright. I've done 13 and 10 before, I'll do it again. And this is a shiny bomb, so the luck is real. I've got four in three holders. And unlit IND. Then parallel ports, two RJ ports, DVI port, PS2 port, parallel port. Serial number 613, Sierra Echo 1. Confirm, you said parallel port twice. Do you have two, two, two parallels? No, I only have one parallel. It's two RJ ports. Okay. And so I said D, uh, two RJ, DVI. Uh, PS2 in parallel. Okay. Alright, Tim, we battleship. Right. 13112. 1 0 1 okay. Battleship is one of the few modules that can be done without even looking at the manual. It is, it's, it's a puzzle that you can write down in notepad and uh, five, seven, solve on your own. So what I'm doing now is I'm calculating the coordinates of the so-called safe spots or safe locations, which the diffuser can then use to determine some information about the puzzle. Purple, green, then blue, brown, yellow. Okay. Ready? And battleship. I need you to radar Delta 1. Delta 1 is water. Echo 1. Echo 1 is water. And Echo 5. Echo 5 is water. Thank you. And now with this information, I can fill in some of the information and deduce the rest logically in such a way that the correct number of ships is in the correct places. What I'm doing here is I'm making a guess. I, I, marked, I use an exclamation point to mark where the guess is so that I can then use undo to go back to it if I find that the guess must be wrong. And as you can see now, the second guess turned out to be correct. Ready on battleship. Battleship, go ahead. Uh, Bravo 1 down for 3. Echo 2 down for 2. Alpha 5. 
Charlie 5, Delta 5. Good. Uh, letter keys is 60, 60. Resistors. Alpha. Resistors. Alpha to Delta through the bottom, and then the secondary is direct. Uh, so bravo to Charlie. Alpha to Delta through the bottom only. Mm -hmm. Bravo direct to Charlie. Checking. Correct. Um, Tim Wee, two bits. Colored squares with me, Elias. Okay. Blue one. Uh, blue one. Column. In this module, I need to calculate a starting value from the numbers and letters and the serial number and the number of batteries. And then I need to look up that number Row. in this table. I get Charlie, Charlie, or CC. Row. Row. At the same time, I know that Elias and the diffuser are doing colored squares. Purple. So for the moment, I avoid interrupting them before I announce that I'm ready. That should be that. Astrology goes triangle with line pointing upwards then I believe that's Mercury, then uh, the arrow pointing northeast. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay, too bad. Charlie, uh, Charlie, query. Charlie, Charlie, querying is 66, 66. Papa Charlie, query. From this point, it's a back and forth. The diffuser will give me numbers, which I look up in the table, and this goes back and forth three times. Do a tango querying. 30, three, zero. Bravo Zulu submit. Until we get the final code, which we submit as our answer. Next is emoji map mm -hmm. equals open colon bar plus open colon colon bar. Astro. Emoji math is one of the few modules that I've completely memorized, which is why I'm not looking at the manual here. Marvelous. Ready on is incorrect. E emoji. Ooh. Em I'm pretty sure that's that's Mercury. It's the female with no, horns. No, 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 no. I I made the mistake. That's not Mercury. That's Pluto. Right. Uh, emoji. Emoji. Go ahead. Forty-six. Four six equals correct. Let me just verify. Pluto is the ball with is the cup with the ball at the top, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Follow the leader with me, Tim. Okay. Go through the rules. Right, so do you have a 4 to 5? 4 to 5, yes. Color? It is It is white. Okay, exactly one of previous two matches current color. Or previous three yes. to share a color. Previous is red, blue, or black. Previous was cut. Previous ends at even. Previous is red, white, or black. Of previous two and most one white or black. Previous leads to seven or greater. Previous two are different colors. Previous is yellow. Oh. Uh, now I exploded. Oh. I I exploded at the one previous two different colors, so I I might have I might have miscounted on one. I'll check later in the video. Uh, yeah, that I'll send you that I'll send you that log afterwards. Use log file reader, kids. It's great. But since that was all entirely my fault, I feel like I ought to redeem myself. Are you guys alright with trying one more time? Yes. Yes. Alright then. I don't know how crazy talk works, I don't know what symbols are in astrology. Ugh. <laughs> Disgusted. Alright. Here's your edge work. Five and three. Lit IND. Lit FRQ. Empty port plate and serial port. Six, Foxtrot three, Quebec Lima zero. Alright. Tim Lee, my number pad goes blue, red, blue, blue, yellow, yellow, green, yellow, white, yellow. Another module where a very powerful cheat sheet makes it possible to just check a few conditions and get the solution very quickly. The original manual has pretty obtuse rules, but they can be heavily simplified and that's what this cheat sheet does. Two, four, three, six. Is good. Um, connection check. Two to three, four to six, three to eight, three to seven. Okay. There is no 5 on the module, so we look at the 5th character in the serial number, which is a lemur. That takes us to the graph labeled slim, 
and then we find out which of these numbers are connected. Red means not connected, green means connected. 851324. Connection check. Red, gr Connection. <coughs> red, green, red, red. Excuse me. Red, green, red, red is correct. Let's see. My Caesar cipher is Mike Tango Quebec Foxtrot X Ray. Okay. I have a 3D maze, so I'll look for a line. Mystic. One moment. Mystic, go ahead. Skull is under the one, and it's actually the same easy as last time. Okay, so in the meanwhile, take note of my 3D maze being Delta Alpha Hotel. Ready on Caesar. At this point I wrote down the Alpha Delta Hotel, or ADH, which relates to a different module, 3D Maze, in case we need it later. Is correct. Web design. Is so at this point it became clear that Elias was going to be the one to do the 3D Maze, so I erased the information. 14 pixels, 1 pixel magenta. Background. Magenta. Font family does not include comics. On. My 3D maze. Here's a line I'll give you. I'm gonna pull the sack. Are the buttons then colored? Goes, or? Uh, yes, they're colored. Okay. I'm in a cul de sac for 3D maze, and then a line going hotel, cardinal, delta, then a wall. Uh, fate cardinal, you saw, but from the delta, turn around. Forward, forward, hotel. Yes. Right, forward, cardinal. South. Right, forward, forward. Left, forward, yes. delta. Right, forward. Yes. Right, forward. Left, wall. Ready on web design. Correct. Um, first, tic tac toe for Elias. Up next is, uh, sorry, 70x952. X, O, X. Next up is O, web design. Reject. Is correct. Uh, two bits, can we? Okay. Ready. That was an easy one. Okay. Bravo, Victor, query. Moment. Bravo, Victor, query. Is 33. 33. Kilo, golf, query. Kilo golf querying. 45, 45. Papa Echo query. Papa Echo querying. 25, 25. Zulu Victor, submit. Zulu Victor, submit. Yep. 21303. 23103. 0211. Um, Tic Tac. Tic Tac. Uh, center left. Center left is good. Next is X. Can you please repeat the top row and left row? Top and left are 21303, then 23103. Okay, I got it right. Phew. Pass and then circle in center right. Okay. Pass, then center right. Up next is X. Uh, battleship. One moment. Battleship, yes. Please radar. Alpha 1. Radar. Alpha 1 is water. Alpha 2. Alpha 2 is hit. Bravo 3. Bravo oh, 3 is that's water. water. Bravo 5. Bravo 5 is hit. Thank you. Tic Tac is a double pass. Okay. Up next is O, and the, the O went in the absolute... Once again, I need to make a guess, and uh, the guess left. leads me to a solution which is incorrect, because the length of the ships no longer match what the diffuser told me, so I have to backtrack and try a different guess, and this time the second guess gives me the correct solution. We'll do it interactive, we're starting on pin 8. Battleship is ready. Battleships. Okay, Charlie 1 down for 2. Echo 1 down for 3. Yep. Alpha 2, we've got that one. Alpha 5 right for, for 3. And alpha 5. Good. 
piano is common time upper warden cut time. Micro. Okay. Micro. Eight is yellow. Guys, steam. Then pin seven. Green. Then pin four. Red. Then pin, uh, pin five. Magenta, and then one is blue. Rest are white. Okay. One is blue. And that's good. Now, look at my light bulb. It is opaque, it is yellow, and it is currently on. Piano. Gals theme. Light bulb's the only thing left. I unscrew. O screw. Uh, it it struck on unscrew. Then you need to screw it back in. Okay, screwing it back in. It is currently on. I have pressed I. That seems to have been correct. You said it was on initially. Yes. Not see. I'll shadow here. So what were the what was the information? Uh, opaque yellow on. Actually, I got that. It should have started with a zero. We didn't strike there, though. Oh, wait. No, we did. I've got two strikes now. So. Oh, okay. Well, in that yeah. case, it's... Start, start from the very beginning. Uh, o, unscrew. O. o is correct. It turned off, so I unscrew. Then O. O again. Screw it in. I've pressed O once. Do I press O twice? Yes, you press it three two times. Notes. Three total. Two after the unscrew. And we're done. Well done. One minute, 31 remaining, and I just missed the strike when I pressed the I the first time. Yeah. I, uh... But no, no 13 and 10 diffused. Excellent. And apparently I'm a terrible diffuser today, but I'd like to say thank you very much to Elias and Tim Way for putting up with me and it's a joining pleasure. me for today's thus far unparalleled bomb disposal experience. <laughs> that, that was fun. And no worries, everybody has their off days. I was having one too, so. So, I thank you all for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Definitely go over to Mode Wondershot's channel to see the diffuser side of the same session. Enjoy. Bye.